money. It's hard enough keeping track of your own. So imagine the challenge we face at the Audit Commission, making sure some £180 billion worth of public funds are spent effectively. Take it from me, that's no small feat. As our name suggests, we do a lot of auditing. In fact, we audit for over 11,000 local public bodies who work in areas as diverse as social housing, waste management, youth services, regeneration and the fire services. Now there's far more to what we do than simply counting the pennies. We work with and advise these public bodies on how best they can increase efficiency and improve their operations. It's a case of looking beyond the numbers to provide real improvements for public services, practicing what we like to call the art of numbers. Join us and we'll give you the skills you need to do the same. With our wide variety of clients and the problems they face, every project is unique. But wherever you're based, whether you're assessing how high crime areas can be made safer or looking at ways to encourage recycling, rest assured you'll be dealing with senior level clients investigating and analyzing a wide range of issues. More importantly, you'll be making recommendations to help improve the country we live in. Now there aren't many graduate schemes that offer that. It was Oscar Wilde who said, life imitates art. Well here, art imitates life. To give you a better idea of the breadth of our work and the multitude of issues that we help to tackle, we've created an exhibition that is quite literally the embodiment of the art of numbers. Elsewhere on the DVD, you can hear firsthand what some of our current graduates have to say about working with us. Now, the work within the exhibition itself was created by students like you. All we did was ask them to provide us with personal interpretations of the services that the Audit Commission helps to improve. Take our work with the fire services, for example. Now, there's no doubt that our firefighters are real-life superheroes. Every day, they put their lives on the line. As such, it's the nation's duty to ensure that they are provided with the resources they need to perform their perilous task. Not just in terms of first-class respirators and protective clothing, but the IT systems that manage their response calls and station facilities. After all, a weak link in any of the activities could cost lives. And now for some real rubbish. This washed up junk is just a tiny reminder of the 400 million tonnes of refuse we produce each year in the UK and its effect on the environment. And if creating some 400 million tonnes of rubbish wasn't enough of an indictment on our throwaway culture, then the fact that we only recycle 23% of our waste most definitely is, which is why our work with waste management is so important. This piece here sums up a feeling that we've all experienced walking home late at night. Now there's probably nothing to worry about, but the two shadowy figures in the foreground play on our most primal fears of crime. Now the most obvious solution would be more police on the streets, but there's far more to ensuring our safety than more bobbies on the beat. Reliable and effective databases and measures to prevent reoffending are both vital weapons in fighting crime. Our work with youth services is equally as diverse. The media often paints today's teenagers as a lawless, hoodie-clad generation, but with a distinct lack of facilities in so many areas and no ball game style restrictions apply to those that do exist, is it right to condemn a generation whose behavior can be directly linked to their boredom? Fortunately, across the country, there are multi-agency teams of youth workers, police and social services tackling these issues, working with today's disaffected youth to help steer them to a better path. A house does not a home make. This is an old and often forgotten phrase. Effective social housing is about creating neighborhoods, not just buildings. Communities where people want to live their lives, not just exist. With an ever-increasing demand for affordable housing, this isn't easy. But with well-managed investment, there can be more home sweet homes.
Tying in neatly with our work in social housing is our next area, regeneration. Across England, many areas are blighted by crime, unemployment and poor public facilities. As this sculpture illustrates, regeneration initiatives can break this cycle of deprivation. They can take something old and run down and create something new, something that offers hope and helps to rebuild communities. The last piece in our collection is probably the hardest hitting. Now it may be graphic, but you can't shy away from the subject of drug misuse. Drugs destroy lives. However, it's not just the users who suffer. Families are torn apart. Complete strangers are affected by the crime. Entire communities are damaged. As such, tackling drug misuse, both in terms of preventative measures and rehabilitation, not only benefits the addicts, but the whole of society. Hopefully now you'll have a good idea of how diverse the Audit Commission's work really is. We practice the art of numbers in every aspect of local public service provision, quietly helping to improve the lives of millions without them even knowing. Despite being off the radar of most of the population, it is a high profile challenge, one that calls for at least a 2-2. However, your degree needn't be accountancy or finance related. As long as you've a head for figures and a way with people, we'll teach you the ins and outs of auditing, along with the business skills you'll need to get your career started. Although you'll learn a lot on the job, there is a more formal side to your development. This will see you working towards a professional qualification with the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy. Now, this will take four years, but it will also open up a world of opportunities. Many accountancy firm partners, senior bankers and public sector directors are sit for qualified. So who knows where it could take you. Whatever the future holds, one thing we do know is that we can't just rely on our superb training and development to attract the best talent. So, we've created an exceptional package that's flexible enough to suit anyone's situation in life. Depending on your location, your starting salary will be between £17,800 and £24,200. Add to that a superb pension scheme and other benefits such as travel, life, pet and personal accident insurance plus private health care and childcare vouchers and working with us can be a rewarding experience, especially when you consider our commitment to giving you every support you could ask for in achieving your potential. All that said though, the most rewarding part of a career with us is the chance to shape the future of local public services up and down the country. Very few organisations can offer work on this scale. Fewer still combine it with a social conscience. So if you think you've got what it takes to practice the art of numbers, log on to the website. <laughs>